my friends. Hope everyone's doing great today. I'm sitting here in the parking lot of Joe's Italian Market in West Babylon. The place is amazing. And I'm here because I was making sauce and figured out that we don't have any fresh basil. Um, and we need it. Can't make sauce without it. It's not going to work. Shannon did suggest trying to use the dried basil that we had. Um, and I said, no, not going to happen. Not today, not ever. Not on my watch will that happen. So here I am. I'm going to get some Italian bread, which we needed as well. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking us out. Happy Sunday to everybody. And the final touch, the basil. Not going to work without it. Hi, handsome. Hi. How you doing? You chilling out on my bed? Oh, bad. How are you? I'm good. You are good. That's a good answer. I like that hat you found. Buy a new house. Buy a new house. We're just chilling. Going to chill out here. Okay. Happy? Give me a fist bump. Everything's great, buddy. I love you. A high representative in politics? Who was the, uh, who was it? Mike Bloomberg. Really? Oh, that's pretty interesting. So yeah. he's doing security for Mike Bloomberg. That's something. I guess he's done. Well, that's why he's home. He dropped out of the race. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to say. Alrighty. How you doing, big man? I like that hat. Nice job, Big John. Johnny's getting ready for the prom. He's DJing next week. Way to go, big boy. Nick Nick! Nicholas! Hey, are we gonna have some bread and sauce? Yes. Let's do it. I made a few. Listen, half is for me, though. We're going to share it. Can we share it? That's what I was thinking. Anyway, I'm going to have this half. That half is for you. Deal? Deal. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. So that turned into very quickly not sharing anything because I, he ate his bagel. By the time I had the camera set up and ready to go on the selfie stick, so I get nothing. But that's okay. How do you like it, Nikki? Is it delicious? Mm -hmm. well, so, Nikki, that's too much. We don't want another episode like yesterday. Mm -hmm. Chew, 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 chew. Chill. Slow down, please. Oh, Lord. Chill, chew, chew. I got a lot of bagel. Okay, go slow. You're doing a great job. This, this is so is calm. Two me. seconds ago. Hey, Rocky, how you doing, handsome? Oh, just walked right into the camera. Can I? There you go. Okay, go slow. You're doing great. Is that delicious? I know it's not Italian bread, but a good New York bagel in sauce is pretty good. Anyway. You're going a little too fast, though, handsome. Fat! Can you go slow? Slow! No yelling. Everything's okay. You're so hungry, huh? Okay, finish what's in your mouth, please. Yeah! Are oh, you being... You, you cranky? Why are you... Come on, Nikki. Everything's the okay. The bagel to bigger. Okay, go slow. You still have some bagel there. Finish what's in your mouth. Nah. Everything is okay. Wow. Somebody is very cranky. Right? Not you, big boy. You're not very cranky. Okay, well, there you go. Maybe we should enter you in the world's fastest bacon and sauce eater, because that was pretty quick. Well, it's all done, mister. All right, it was good. Thanks for coming by. I thought we were going to have like a, a moment of you and I talking it out, but clearly that's not going to happen. All right, that's okay. No scraps for the dog. Nothing for you, Mr. Rocky. Nothing for that big face of yours. All right, so uh, we're making a quick video to address one of the comments that we got, which I thought was a great comment. It's from Kimberly from North Dakota, who works in a hospital. She said that she, first of all, she's from New Jersey. Can you turn it down a little bit, Nick? 
Thank you so much. Uh -oh. <laughs> she said that she likes to watch the autism family vlogs so that she can better serve uh, kids at the hospital. And she said that a lot of parents, or she's had experience at least with some parents, who want their autistic children to be treated as a neurotypical <laughs> child. And I thought that was a very interesting comment. And it, I, I, I never really reflected on it. I never thought to myself, is Nicholas being treated like everybody else? So happy. No, no, no. Oh, no, no school. No school. No school. What's no today? School. It's Sunday. Happy. Sunday fun day with mommy and daddy. Yes, and we're gonna have are we gonna have bread and sauce. <gasps> Daddy's making sauce. And so I, I brought it up to Shannon, and I, I started to think. I, I thought to myself, I I don't want him to be treated like a neurotypical child. I think it's really important that people, when they deal with Nick, in virtually every setting, uh, that they're more patient, that they're a little kinder. That they understand that communication is going to be an issue. That maybe he's not going to comply, right? And and when you take all of these things into consideration, I guess you're not treating the child like a, a neurotypical child. Like at school, for me, when I when I speak to a neurotypical child, I I mean, I it's it's reasonable for me to expect that they understand what I'm saying, that they're going to comply with whatever basic requests I may have. Um, so that's how I see it. What do you what do you think, Shannon? I think at school, and it's a little different than in the healthcare environment. At school, we want him to comply. We want him to go to extracurricular activities. We want him to go to the cafeteria like the other kids. We want him to go sit in his classroom and walk in the hallways appropriately. That's a little different. I think Everybody saying... should have patience with him, but in the healthcare environment, it's much different. But I think I, I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to interrupt you with train of thought. But when you, when you, when they're saying, when you say treated equally, yeah, I want them to get the same thing as a neurotypical kid. <laughs> I don't mean treated differently in that aspect. I guess just. But go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Continue. I think that healthcare providers have to have even more patience, even more understanding on how to treat these children. They're not going to respond to them. Like neurotypical children. Right. They're not going to just follow instructions. <gasps> right. They're not going to be able to follow commands. Some are nonverbal. You're not going to be able to ask them where does it hurt. Right. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I just feel like in that kind of situation where if a child's at a physical or a dental appointment, um, you know, I guess I w would want to know exactly what's going to happen. And, you know, and if I'm not familiar, if they're saying, well, I'm going to take his blood pressure, I'm going to check his ears, I'm going to do all that. Well, I'm familiar with that. And I can say, yeah, I think that's going to work. Let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Or if it's something that I'm not familiar with, I would, I would ask them to show me. And then I could at least give you a judgment on whether or not I think it's going to work as they have it planned. And it would give me the opportunity to offer a suggestion. What do you think about that? Definitely. Dr. Tom is great with Nicholas. Um, even the last visit, he had to get oh. three vaccines, so we split it up to three different visits. And that was smart. Why is yeah. he didn't get them all in the one, same yeah, day? Yeah, not we don't do that all in the same day. And then um, Dr. Tom basically didn't show him the needle, but was like, all right, Nikki, one, two, three, and it's going to pinch. And Nikki was fine. It's good. Wow. It's good. That's pretty well, because he does yeah. have a lot of fear when it comes good. to the doctor. And Dr. Tom mm -hmm. has a certain way with Nicholas. He's calm. He approaches him differently. He doesn't put demands on him. If Nikki gets upset, he tries to calm him down. Right. And he's That's right. your stuff. What? Rip it out of the right whiff. I got Johnny super please. Johnny, zip it up. Zip check from the first floor. Johnny's in his room. How do you know if he's not zipped? Did he see you? Yeah, I showed you. Oh, that was pretty I impressive. Yeah. Zip check from the first floor. First floor zip check for you, Big John. Good boy. So I, I brought up to John, too. I asked him, you know, to what degree do the coaches treat Nicholas like a neurotypical child? And he says, for the most part, they place, they, you know, they place the same demands on him in regards to, you know, it's time to warm up. It's time to jog. Obviously, they're not going to have the same, you know, if Johnny just stops running, as far as I know. Uh, he's in trouble. 
Yeah, he's in trouble. They're going to say, hey, but, you know, with, with Nick, I guess they're going to be, I mean, obviously, they're going to be a lot more patient. And we have a, uh, a service provider who comes to uh, Babylon High School and works with Nicholas uh, to help yeah. him, you know, be part of the extracurricular stuff. <laughs> And he's like, uh, I'm not scared. I'm like, uh, hey, he is so happy today. This is great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, he's, got mom- <laughs> What's he's got mom and dad on the couch. Oh. What's better than this, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so Dan, the fellow who uh, works with him, you know, helps him stretch, helps him start when the coaches say it's time to start. Look. Um, and Look. all of that. I don't know. So and and it's been Look. ridiculously Look. successful. Look. So so obviously they don't you know they don't treat him like a neurotypical child in that respect. So I think when you know when parents say I want my child treated like a neurotypical child, I mean I think that is in regards to you know access to you know to certain activities like extracurricular stuff, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Anyway. Great comment. Thank you so much for leaving it. You know, that definitely inspired a lot of conversation in this house. Stop shaking the camera, man. There we go. All right. Oh, my goodness. This has been so weekend. Making you so happy, you happy boy. No bedtime. No bedtime. No, it's no bedtime. No bedtime. Happy. Chilling on the couch Sunday night. Thank you for yawning. Right in my face. Did we have a good day? Yes. Yes, we did. Did you have bread and sauce? No school, no backpack. No school, no backpack. I'm falling off, man. You gotta let. You gotta pull me on the couch, Nick. Pull on the camera. Where's Stevie? What are you doing? I think he's not. Stop it, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> so, did we have a good weekend? <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> yeah. Right. <Twice. laughs> What, did Johnny just go get some ice cream? Should he get some, go to the store and get some ice cream? We should go to the dairy barn and get us all ice cream. Whoa! No backpack for sale, Bobby! No backpack. We're gonna hang out a little while longer. We're gonna stay up, hang out, hug it out on the couch. And beyond! Oh! John John, whoa! Hey, what's happening here? Oh, you like that, Nicholas? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Right. Let's put his fingers on now. Come on, John. Get off, man. <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't get up. Oh, man. We just got to wrap this up. Okay. Thanks for checking us out. God bless you. We love you. And we'll see you next time. Nikki, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Oh, okay. <laughs>